Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel and also check out our new Patreon account. Um, all pledges are welcome, but there's, there's some there that are tailored for uh, individual um, actions um, to help me help you. Um, right, so what's happening with loop ring? We are essentially back to the 786 um, from our from our all-time highs. Um, how's that looking on the hourly? Right, so we have actually just bounced off 786. It's the first time we've come back here. Um, I'm just going to take that to the half hourly. No change. Take it to the five minute. Okay, so literally five minutes ago, um, we've had a bounce from the 786. What we need to see now is uh, a move to get us away from this zone. Need quite a strong one. We'd need a good wick, good protection bounce. Um, and failing that, I'm just going to mark that amber. Um, and failing that, what we're going to be looking at. Ooh, <laughs> I'm going to pull back out to the daily for this because um, I need to see where, where we could be stopping next. Uh, okay, so if we don't hold the 786 and Luke Ring wants to move lower, it is a possibility. These are slightly uh, untested waters, so I'm going to use um, the coin's history that has. Uh, helped us before with support and resistance um, for essentially the next stop. I'm going to mark a few of these, so just bear with me. This one here seems to be quite significant, so I'll make that one thicker and red. Okay, so what to look for now, um, as most tokens do once they've reached 786, would be a protective bounce. So I've marked that in amber, but I'm just going to draw it on the daily so it's a larger, so it'll be a protection bounce, something like that. Um, what I would say is if people are looking to uh, invest in this one now, um, wait for the bounce. You want to you want to see it have a, you want to see a little V shape um, from uh, from the 111 area, um, possibly even up to to 120 before you. Uh, put an investment in. Um, if we don't see the protection bounce and this thing wants to move lower, what to expect over the coming hours and day would be a retracement to dollar five, um, literally just below dollar six. And then after there we've got dollar one just under dollar two. And then after that slightly steeper down to 92.75. And then after that it does essentially look like free fall. Um, and down to 62. Now, 62 for me would be a buy zone. Um, I feel that if we lose the 786, we're going to be in a state of flux where, unless we have a really strong bounce now from the 786, we will more than likely wick below and just bounce around for days. Um, you know, this type of pattern. Um, until we realistically come back to uh, 62. So if the confidence isn't in now, this is slightly what we're going to be looking at. Some, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for loop ring. Um, and I've always been um, a fan and bullish on loop ring. Um, has been my go-to token on a number of occasions to protect my portfolio. And um, yeah, it's quite it's quite sad to see such steep uh, sell-off. Um, with Loop Ring, and uh, I know they've not had the uh, the best um, publicity of late, but I'm I'm still a fan. So, uh, but I'm a fan without putting my money where my mouth is on this one <laughs> until we get back to circa the 62. Um, all right, that's all from me. Please do remember to like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon. Support the channel any way you can, and uh, I'll see you all soon.